The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? Oh, blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, pretty much as usual, what it used to be anyways, uh, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he loves penises and hates vaginas. Please welcome back Mr. J.P. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, he is back from the Orient. Is it the Orient? No, that's racist. Okay. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would expect nothing less from you. Yeah. Derek's a changed yeah. man now, dude. He is. Scotty's like, now he's away from all the zipper heads. <laughs> Please, I'm like, Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> he's back from Japan. Please welcome the only two-time funniest person in Wichita, Kansas, Mr. Derek Alders. Thank you. Woo! Yeah. They had a big reception for me. When I, was I was going to sure. ask if they fucking yeah. I'm sure knew they, you're yeah. coming. They mm-hmm. packed all of their restaurants full of food. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> they knew you were coming. So no, they, they got big, ready. I had banners and everything. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. good. That's good Pretty stuff. Good. Uh, but welcome, everybody, into another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. If this is the very first time you've ever listened to one of these episodes, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're pretty dark and dirty and kind of, uh, yeah, you know, inappropriate. Uh, but this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend people who have thin skin. So if you're one of those people you're in the wrong place, get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Or you can have some of my extra skin. You can. I have oh, lots man. of It's got plenty of it. Uh-huh. Uh, but we've you got... It like a sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, we've got a full episode today. Headlines. Never have I ever. That's why I draw the line. Questions, preguntas, a draft, and is always a shitty situation. But we like to kick this off with what we always do, and that's uh, tell everybody about our weeks. Uh, Derek has probably the longest one, and JP definitely has the shortest one. So we're going to kick this off with JP. What's penis size got to do with anything? I don't know. Uh, but it's definitely not true if you're talking about the biggest one. So, yeah, that's that. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll go. You, you, uh, I'll go money on this. You owe me $100 an inch for every every inch that I'm bigger. And I'm walking out here with at least 700 bucks. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm we saying. We take that bet. I might be going to Japan. Again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god he just rolls it out across the table <laughs> yeah. it's like fucking santa's naughty list just <laughs> i had something done while i was in japan <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's why you really went yeah uh, um, but no jp what have you been up to dude not a lot man bowling smoking pot playing video games mm-hmm. working yeah that's about it man how'd you bowl really good probably the best the best I've ever thrown the ball and the worst I've ever thrown the ball. Nice. So, yeah. Now that the first two games last night, I had 22 out of 24 strikes. It's pretty damn Shot good. Shot 299 my first game. Had a... Yeah, you really fucked that one. Yeah, I really fucked that one <laughs> off. But... Uh, <laughs> Um, and I then would've sh- I would have shot 300. The third game, I shot 174. <laughs> oh, fuck. Damn, I beat you the third game? Yeah, you're cool, man. <laughs> I thought Rex beating you was bad. It was, dude. I almost sold all my shit, but yeah. You almost fought him. Yeah, I did almost fight him. <laughs> what the fuck? There's this guy that we bowl with, and he's a douche. <laughs> and uh, he uh, he's like a he kind of looks like Shrek. Oh, like if Derek. Shrek didn't have any teeth. Oh. And he has like one tooth. Like I'm not even kidding. And Meth. It's, it's just, yeah, dude, something <laughs> like that. But he, uh, I told him I was going to kick his ass, and then I just buried the first two balls. And he 
like threw his second ball and had a 10 pin stand. And as he's walking back, one of his teammates went, uh Oh, <laughs> like basically like, uh Oh, you're in big trouble. Jason's going to kick your ass. Just like he said, and that pissed him off. So he threw his ball down, dude. Oh, and damn. Then walked off. And I go, Hey man, I said, what the fuck is that? I was like, quit being a bitch. I was like, don't just, you don't just fucking throw your bowling ball. You dumb fuck. And he goes, you just shut the fuck. I said, man, I'll knock the other fucking tooth you got out. <laughs> Don't fuck with me, man. And then he apologized to me later. Oh, that's okay, good. I was like, dude, yeah, what the well, fuck? I'd heard him giving you some coaching pointers in the last game. Oh, yeah, he, he's something else, man. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's something else. Uh, I got to uh, actually see um, JP's roadway, r- road rage on the way over uh, today. Oh, my God. This guy. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. We are in na- the neighborhood. Dude. We're so last week on the way over here, there's this guy with a fucking lawn trailer and truck, and he's just fucking stopped in the middle of the fucking road, not pulled over to the side. I mean, in the middle of the fucking road, talking to some fucking dude that's doing his lawn. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I fucking go around him, and I'm like, what the fuck? I roll down my window, and what the fuck? And I fucking go around him or whatever. Dude, same motherfucker today. We're driving over here, and this dude is doing 18 miles an hour. He Well, he had to be going slower than that because I was on him, and I was doing 18. Yeah, he was doing and 15. And I'm like, what the fuck? And get away from me. So I fucking just went around him, dude. That's all. I wasn't road rage. I just went around the motherfucker. <laughs> he, he passed like, him. You just got to get the Google review. You got to find the side of it and what company <laughs> what it is. Company? There was no thing, yeah. I don't think it's a company. I think he's just fucking, he's in Scotty's neighborhood, so he's got too much money. <laughs> And he probably like does his mom's yard or something, so he has his lawn trailer. Yeah, it was like Mike. The dude Mike's doing his grandmother's shit. yard. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's basically he, he's Mike in ten years. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, but for what it's worth, I think uh, I think you were totally justified. Yeah, I dude. just I just couldn't do it. But I all I saw was this green Chevy pass, and I was like, is that Jeep? Pete, no, he wouldn't do that. Sure shit. Fuck pulled, that. I ain't waiting right, on your dumb ass. <laughs> pulled right in I don't right care behind if we're you. in a residential neighborhood <laughs> or not. Get the fuck out of my way. Yeah. I was just like coming around him, and it was raining pretty decent. Yeah, then. yeah. And I was like, please don't let any kids be playing in the street. It's raining out. Surely they won't be. I was like, I don't care. I'm risking it. <laughs> <laughs> Floored it in yeah. a, in a See, residential. See, I'm the opposite. I'm like, please let there be kids playing in the yeah, street. Yeah, right. I'm going right. to get two for one here. Yes, Absolutely. That's 200 points. That's a lot. Yeah, uh, but anything else? Did you watch any good shows lately? I've been watching this show on Apple TV called Sugar. Yeah, I think you kind of really mentioned. Good. I think you mentioned it last. It's week. really good, but okay. I already fucked up and watched them before they were all out. So now I'm waiting. Ah, oh, fuck! Uh, that's hey the man, worst. How about the Mavs, baby? I don't know. What you don't know? It's nah. hockey because you don't pay attention to hockey. Well, they're up three one. Game five is tonight. Okay, we could, we could close out the series at home. Okay, It'd be awesome going to the next. Who round. they play? Who are they playing? Winnipeg Jets. Okay, well, go go Avalanche then. Yeah, fuck the Canadians. Right. Yeah, man, you what were gonna try fuck? to root against me, dude. I was. You're a piece of shit. If it was like <laughs> if, if it was like St. Louis or, or anyone, or yeah, if it was, yeah, other than a Canadian team, but right? It's like Winnipeg Jets. Fuck them. So Colorado was a Canadian team when. Yeah, they're, they're, they were the Nordiques, they moved, weren't they? Yeah. yeah when okay. They moved, so. See, I know a little bit, not a lot, but. Yeah. Good for uh, you, man. Well, I guess I'll kick my week off. Uh, it's kind of uh, no surprise. I guess I, I put a post out on my Facebook page, and so now everybody knows. But um, I got free tickets to Jeff Dunham. He came through Wichita and was at Ew. Interest Bank Arena. I'll get there. How'd you get tickets? At work. Uh, yeah. 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 You know, man, and they were in such high demand. They were like a thousand dollars a ticket. <laughs> were <laughs> no, they really? No. Oh, I was no. gonna say. No, they were still pretty one expensive. Of the, one of the puppets hooked him up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. They used, right. To, they used to fuck back in yeah, the day. Back yeah. in the day. Him and Peanuts. Uh, so. yeah. 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 Absolutely. I just get a call from the puppet. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> how's he how's he go again? <laughs> hey. Yeah, that, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh and you know what i Scotty does a good peanut impersonation man i I don't i don't love jeff dunham i i like him all right i figured it would be a good thing for me and the wife to do and uh you know it's stand-up comedy i'm gonna go and try to watch everybody i've never seen him live i will say this his like uh, special that he does that comes out on tv um is dialed down a little bit oh yeah oh uh peanut always peanut has a worse mouth than we do yeah and so it was it was it's he's it's not a real person scotty i know what i'm (laughs) just using him as an example 
But uh, yeah. like he doesn't even have a jawbone. <laughs> yeah, I that know. motherfucker could open all the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now we know how you got the tickets. Uh, but but I was kind of <laughs> shocked. I wasn't expecting that. Um, but uh, the best part of the entire show was all of a sudden Jeff is in the middle of uh, one of the characters' acts and just stops. And everybody's like, what the fuck? And you can tell Jeff is kind of like paying attention down about four rows in front of him and is just staring at him. And you can kind of hear something going on, but we can't see. Yeah. We had good seats, but we still couldn't see. And so all of a sudden, Jeff just kind of goes, okay, guys, we're going to take a really quick minute break. Go ahead and play this video and then gets off the stage. And so nobody's giving a fuck what is on the big video board. They're trying to figure out what We're the trying fuck to figure out what's at. going yeah. on down here. So everybody's attention is on there. There is security and what I thought was EMTs. Not EMTs. What if it was an armed puppet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just another one of the old puppets he doesn't use anymore, like <laughs> that he got before he got famous and yeah. he just kind of shelved and it's like, yeah. I told you I'd be back, back for, motherfucker. Yeah. 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 It was Ahmed the live terrorist. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, hang on a minute. My bummy's active. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so what we end up finding out was, or what we can see is that these four security officers are grabbing this woman's limbs. So one, each person has an arm and each person and, and a leg. So four people are, are carrying <coughs> this lady out. And all we can see and hear is like, they're going fucking nuts. We end up finding out the day later that that was a very drunk female who wouldn't shut the fuck up was absolutely belligerent and breaks the rule of stand up comedy, which is be loud, obnoxious and interrupt the show for everybody else was asked to leave and refused. So then security had to get involved and then naturally escort her the fuck out. Man. So what a story for her to tell at parties. Oh Jesus. I mean, that's the worst. You get drunk and get thrown out of a fucking Jeff. Jeff Dunham. Dunham. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Like that's kind of what was going through my head was like, out of all the people, really? The puppet guy? It must happen fairly often because he had a video ready. He had a video I ready mean, to go. You know what I mean? He's he, like, he, he was prepared for it. He was, apparently. Yeah. And so uh so yeah, that was the most interesting part of the entire uh the entire you know show, but yeah, I, I I like Jeff. I don't love him. I I it's it was something to do, and I had a good time. The end of a show was great. Peanut is is my favorite, and he riffed with him, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, there was that. It makes me feel like Scotty thinks these are. I real do. People. Oh, a hundred percent. He thinks he's real, dude. I <laughs> no, brought... the, ca- the character Peanut is is my favorite. Dude, the I other ones are to you. He thinks Peanut's a real person. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I really do. I know. I, I think can tell. he talks for himself. Yeah, I know. I I'm can tell. Crazy. No, I know. Um, I'm cr- I'm crazy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so that was that. Uh, I was really excited because uh, Shogun finally came out with the last episodes that I hadn't watched yet. However, I I mind fucked myself. I started to watch a TV show with my wife in the middle of that, and it was Fallout on Amazon Prime, based off of the video game. Seen it? Heard it? At all? I have not. I've heard about it. Okay, going into that. And I've played Fallout once, just okay. one of them. I never, I know, I'm not one. a Fallout guy. Yeah. I'm not a Bethesda guy. I don't like Skyrim. I don't like Fallout. It's just not my thing. You're more of a peanut guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> sure. But you know he's got a sign. You gotta know he's got a sign picture upstairs. No. No. There was a there was a life size peanut. Too pe- Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> there was a life size peanut that you could buy for a hundred dollars and it I was bigger than you. Oh, I laughed. Oh no. No. Where is it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it. I didn't see it when I came I, in. I, I, I laughed when I saw people buying it. Anyways, uh, no. <clears throat> so I, me and my wife started watching Fallout, which all of the episodes were already out for that, so I could binge it, and then we could continue with Shogun. Um, they had no idea. Gory as fuck. Oh yeah. Oh man, and it was like a kind of a shock factor. You're like right uh, out of the gate, like bad. And uh, but it was a great show, great storyline, but really fucked up. Uh, and then we ended up finishing off Shogun, and uh, it was it was very good. But they killed off my favorite character because she was fucking hot, and it just ruined it. Darn, you can't do that. You but they did, they did. fuckers. Uh, but yeah, that was my week. Uh, now Darius can tell you about the real Shogun. I, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's where it was. What? It's where you went. Where? 
feudal Japan. Oh, no. I actually, I was in uh, Newton. <laughs> Just getting away from everybody? <laughs> that's a, Those that's are all green screens, the <laughs> pictures. They yeah. have the best figs in Newton. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turns uh, out they're fruit and cake. Oh, wow. Yeah. I did not uh, know. Mm-hmm. But anyways, they're not cookies. How yeah, don't call them a cookie. You've, uh-huh. you've, been gone, you've been gone from the show for three weeks, <clears> but yeah. you've been gone for two. Yes. So tell us about it. How? It was it was glorious. Uh, I'm sure it was. So was the trip. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, we went to uh, a small town in Japan called uh, Tokyo. Uh, <laughs> just a little, just a little just town. I don't want to. Uh, uh, they don't really it, have towns. At the at the risk of sounding racist, I don't well. want to. But there were a lot of Japanese people. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, it was cool. I thought I saw Shohei Otani like all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I got fooled so many so times. Many like times. it was never him. But man, I got like 46 autographed oh. baseballs of other people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> the, the toilets are no joke, man. Yeah? Oh, those were great. Because <laughs> like, they sprayed your butt No, well, in public... They just play sounds that'll play like bubbles or music. So if you're like taking a shit, you don't have to hear like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's pretty cool. And they're heated. Usually when you get on a warm toilet seat, you're like, Ugh. <laughs> but there it's like, ah. <laughs> and then, yeah, they got a thing that comes out and it squirts your butthole with warm water. <laughs> oh, and weird. dude, I got to get one. <laughs> You can buy them. They're like four hundred dollars. Oh, Jesus! I think I'm gonna. I can get you one cheaper. <laughs> well, I've got a cheaper one now. It's a okay. water flosser. Yeah, but, right. But uh, it's yeah. not as warm. You got to heat it up. Uh, but that was fucking fantastic. Um, Please tell me that was not your favorite part about going to Japan. I'm yeah. right. He never got off the toilet. <laughs> yeah, he just he stayed, stayed there. He stayed yeah. there and yeah. kept yeah. squirting his butthole. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, the people were like, you got to get off the plane, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me go. <laughs> um, we, uh, I ate like an asshole. Well, you, like, when oh, we knew that. It was fucking so good. So you Every, ate a lot of dick? Everything was fucking good there. Like, yeah. Uh, I, we, I ate McDonald's there. I had to try it. And see what it was. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's way uh, different. I got a teriyaki yeah. burger there. Uh, the chicken nuggets were weird. They tasted chickeny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Instead of <laughs> like fucking, like yeah. yeah. Preservatives. They tasted real. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, what else? Oh, uh, there's like a convenience store like every fucking 20 feet. Yeah. So it's either 7-Eleven, Family Mart, or Lawson. Um, and, dude, the food in there is amazing. That sounds so weird. The egg salad sandwich is the best sandwich and best bread I've ever had in my life. Um, I had the chicken in there was good. We had sushi. We went to one sushi place. It was like conveyor belt. So you're on like a little tablet and Mm -hmm. you put what you want. And then it comes on out on this conveyor belt and there's two pieces on each plate. Um, we went through 24 plates. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, I bet you did. Yeah. (laughs) Between the two of us. Oh, uh, Derek, how much do you think that cost? (sighs) 12 bucks. $36. Yeah. I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. The yen is so weak over there. So I bought a ton of shit because I didn't have to pay tax on it. So I bought, uh, they have a Jordan store there. I love Jordan. Yeah. So I bought uh, a duffel bag for like 35 bucks. I bought a dope ass backpack and then I bought a hat from there. And then I bought, uh, my wife got two pairs of shoes. I got a pair of shoes. Uh, I bought whiskey glasses, two bottles of whiskey, a thousand pounds of candy to take back. <laughs> um, dude, <laughs> their ridiculous. Ca- their candy's fucking amazing. But the best part was the Jordan, like the Jordan store. Yeah. He yeah. gets back and he sends me a, a text message of the video of this fucking dressing yeah. room. Yeah, it's red carpet in the dressing room. And then there's a thing that you push a button and if you want a different color or size, they'll bring it to you. Yeah, dude. It was right fucking on. dope. But it was massive. 
Yeah. Like it's a big fucking dressing yeah, room. Yeah, that dressing room was for the size shoes. Of I don't know if you know about Japan or not, but there's a lot of them over there. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, but well, it's for one person. Yeah, yeah but like those are fresh off the line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those are, yeah. it's like getting lobster in Maine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's a perfect analogy. Yeah, yeah. getting Jordans in Japan <laughs> is like getting lobster in Maine. Yeah, yeah. good. All right. Um. So yeah, that part <laughs> you was, can still smell the children on the leather. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, shit okay. I, I bought my wife a camera lens out there uh here uh, the lens was 800 dollars. i bought it out there for 80 bucks holy fuck <laughs> um yeah dude we should be buying this shit right and reselling it the thing that's out there that i was shocked at i don't even want to talk about it because i fucking might look into doing it because i don't i am amazed it's not here i'll tell you off the fucking show. okay all right that's but fair. uh Hey, I'm always looking for investments, man. Yeah. Dude, I don't He's know. He's got a how. lot of Skrilla to throw around. I don't know how. Dude, this is not a thing. I've got uh, 20 in my wallet. I'll fucking put a down payment down right sweet. now. Sweet. <laughs> well, <laughs> that'll cover uh, one fifth of an inch that I out fucking length you. Uh, so. Out length me. Dude, you out length me. No. <laughs> my God. You probably can't even see your dick. <laughs> I, it, it, I can, and that's why I know it's big. Uh, <laughs> um, we did the go karts around Tokyo. Oh, uh, that's cool. It kind of sucked uh, because it was like not mist, cool then. it was misting that day, like all day. Uh, and then like you go in groups of six. I'm surprised they let them take the go karts out of the garage. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. With the misting. Yeah, they. I was surprised they they did too, really, <laughs> um, because. <laughs> God forbid they'd get wet. Dude, it was fucking soaked. Oh, man. It, um, That's too bad. The reason why I'm laughing and the reason why JP is smiling is because Derek would not come over here today because it was raining because he was afraid he was going to get hail on his car. It was hailing at my fucking house. <laughs> only at Derek. It didn't I'm hail like, anywhere Derek. else. Uh, yeah, it only hails in the rich neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder they I've know, never seen hail. They know we can afford it. I've <laughs> never seen hail. We can pay our deductible. It's not going to hail over here. <laughs> it's all government, man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, it was like kind of misty, rainy that day, and uh, two of the carts out of the six broke down, which I guess has never happened. Wow, supposedly. Um, so we were <laughs> was sitting. one of them yours? <laughs> no. Because I could think of a reason it might have broke down. <laughs> Jesus, that's so mean. <laughs> nope, neither of them were mine, dick face. Uh, so, so two of them broke down, and they had to wait for them to bring two new ones. So we had to sit out there for like 45 minutes. So just because they broke down, you had to stop We two. all, the whole group had to wait. Oh, that sucks. And so that then <clears throat> it started, we finally got to go again. And by then, you're going like 50 miles an hour with no fucking... I wish nothing it. and that rain stung dude that <laughs> fucking stings and there were some puddles that you would like i couldn't avoid to go yeah. over dude my whole left side was <laughs> fucking soaked and they got pictures of us all when we got back and i just looked fucking over it yeah <laughs> and so they're like here you know we feel really bad we're sorry uh all you guys can pick a t-shirt it is the ugliest fucking t-shirt, t-shirt <laughs> ever it's like sparkly and shit you'd love it uh, <laughs> you should have brought it for me, man. Should have, yeah. It says street card on it, and, yeah. and uh, you know it's not my size. So uh, <laughs> because we, there's a fabric shortage in Japan. No, no, they're all not. they're already smaller over there. Like yeah. I wear two X here now, and I over put there, on a two X. Over it's there, like they a, call it holy shit. <laughs> no, it's two X. Yeah, but it fits like probably a large. Oh yeah. Oh fuck. Dude. So <laughs> that's why I only tried one thing on. Wow. You're like, fuck this. I'm not ruining my vacation by trying on any more clothes. That was pretty yeah. much it. That makes sense. Uh, we went to Mount Fuji. There you go. That was cool as fuck. Uh, we Fuji had or Fukushima? Fuji. Oh, okay. I don't know why. Fukushima is the nuclear. That's, yeah. that's, that's right. That's right. I'm yeah, sorry. You don't want to go there. You don't want to go there. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, we went to Mount Fuji and we had this fucking dude. Uh, we're on a bus and they take you out there and there's a guy, a tour guide on the bus and he's on a PA and he's talking on the PA and uh, there's this fucking asshole from India and he's talking the entire fucking time on the phone. Oh, no. And uh, I had about, I was pretty much over it. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's weird. It seems like you get over things fair, or, you know, a, pretty, yeah. a lot on this trip. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, like, at one point, we're in line to get on this boat because they take you to, like, a, a rest area where you can see it and then a spot kind of up the mountain a little bit where you can see it pretty good. And then they take you on a lake and you go on this boat around it. And when we're getting ready to get on the boat, 
that guy just like walks all the way past me and my wife and the people in front of us and the people in front of them just to go ahead and just get on the boat first. What and I'm like, the you fuck? motherfucker. And he's like trying to get his wife. He's like, come on. And I'm like, fuck this. So I just move right up next to my wife and kind of spread out a little bit to where that bitch ain't getting on. <laughs> and uh, I got ahead and made that asshole wait. Uh, but then we're finally on the bus to kind of start looking to this last destination. He's on the phone. He won't shut the fuck up. And, uh, so I decided I picked up my phone and picked up Google translate and learned how to say dickhead in Hindi, (laughs) um, and just kept blurting it out randomly. (laughs) Uh, and then also getting shitty looks from my wife. Oh, I can help my Oh, 100%. Yeah. She's like, stop it. And I'm like, and I forget what the word was now, but I belted it out again. I was like, stop what? Stop what? (laughs) And, uh, there was a guy from, uh, England that was next to us. And he just turned around and told the guy, shut the fuck yeah, up. See, oh, nice. That's what I would have done, like, too. I was yeah, I like the petty way. Yeah. yeah. But uh, <laughs> as soon as he did that, I was like, thank you. Can I buy you a beer, sir? Like, <laughs> immediately. We rode the bullet train back, which is fucking crazy. Yeah. It's bastard shit. Dude, when that thing goes by, it just, pew, like, that's yeah. it. That's it. You missed that's it. You blink, you miss it. That's funny. That's oh, cool. So, Jeez. People over there were super nice. Like oh, yeah, some of the sure. nicest people I've ever met in my life. It's really clean. Super clean, yeah. but there's no public trash. So you're expected to just take your own trash bag or whatever mm-hmm. and just carry it around all day until till you're done. Uh, we walked 108 miles in two weeks. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. The picture of you guys in front of Fuji was... it's. People that don't know how big that motherfucker is, mm-hmm. it's fucking crazy. The our tour guide said he's climbed it fifteen times. That's wow. fucking ridiculous. Yeah, and he said so. that if any of us ever want to go, obviously not me, uh, <laughs> he would he would be happy. The air to gets go real with. thin up there. He's awesome. the fucking nicest guy ever, man. That's Everybody awesome. there was. <laughs> When you're on the train, nobody talks, like, on the subway. Yeah, I've seen videos uh, of that. There's actual, like, things that, that are posted that said, if you're listening to headphones, uh, please don't listen to, them, listen to them at a loud volume to where the sound leaks out so you don't disturb other passengers. And then you come back here, and you're like, fuck us. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. So polite over there. Oh, dude, yeah. If if you didn't have to fly in a plane for right. 16 hours. I could 13. 13. If you didn't I have to fly fly for 13 hours. You'd have to knock me the fuck out. You would too. Yeah. 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 No o- way I could over put, the I ocean. couldn't be on a plane. Over I can't the ocean. that long, dude. Fuck that. I hate planes. What yeah. about trains? I can do train all day. Automobiles are more on my speed. Yeah, you saw where I was going. I can do a train. <laughs> but yeah. I bet you can. I could. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> I'm yeah. a, hun- <laughs> <What>? <laughs> a little Scotty and Travis Cagle action. Oh uh, yeah, there no, you go. No, thank you. Toot toot, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and new on our show, Thomas. <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, Thomas uh, German. Any yeah. Any anything else that uh, you remember that you want to mention while you're gone? Oh yeah, one bar we went to. Oh yeah, what about it? It was dope. Uh, the yeah. menu was a plate of fruit. Really? And uh, that's all the menu was. You picked a fruit, and then he asked you if you wanted it light strong, medium strong, or strong strong. And uh, he would just make you a fucking drink with it. And it was all fresh, fresh fucking fruit. And it was all amazing. And all the drinks were themed. So one of them, like, uh, my wife got, an, she picked orange, and it's in, like, a clear wine, stemless wine glass. And it lit up from the bottom. And there's an astronaut holding it, and he turned the lights off and played the moon landing song, and then was dimming the lights with the song. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, one of mine came in a TV. Uh, one of hers was a princess frog. We had an angler fish that was one. Uh, I had there was one. Sounds was, like you had quite a few drinks. <laughs> we had four each. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And it all amounted it was, to thirty bucks. Yeah. No, was, no, that was like hundred and twenty-eight dollars. Oh, never mind. But uh, that was the most expensive night we had. But that. It was just the, totally it was the ambulance. It. it was the presentation yeah, right. of it all. And the guy was hilarious. I'd asked him, I was like, do you use the pirate hat and the hooks for anything? He's like, yes. And he comes over and he just fucking puts now, it on is my he, head. Is he Mexican? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's weird. That's strange. Yeah. That was weird. The uh, There was one that Katie had, and he was like. See? He goes. <laughs> Bite it. He goes, this New York drink. And we're like, yeah. And he's like, yeah, trash. <laughs> and he's, it's in a fucking dumpster with oh. newspaper coming out of it, and the drink is in a vial. Oh, wow. God. It is fucking That's great. Cool. That's awesome. 
Well, man, I'm glad you had a really good trip. I, I know you needed it, and uh, I hope you, you you had the time of your life. You know? Oh, I had a fucking amazing yeah. time. Two yeah. weeks two weeks is a damn good vacation. Two weeks in Japan, I couldn't even fucking imagine. Oh, it was fantastic. You went to the baseball game. Yeah, the baseball game was fucking epic. You, yeah, you forgot to mention that. Yeah, that is like uh, whenever you watch soccer on TV and see how like nuts they go over in England and shit, mm-hmm. it's like that the whole fucking game. Yeah. They have horns that are playing the whole fucking time. Nice. There's like a brass section. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and they, everybody that's up, they're just chanting the fucking names, home and away. Like Nice. It was fucking epic, and the food in the at the ball game. I mean, it's weird going to a ball game, and it's like sushi and shit. Did they have hot dogs? Yeah, I got a, I got a fucking corn dog that was like fucking this, and it was stuffed with cheese. Wow, it was it was really good. <laughs> uh, I was ordering drinks. I didn't know what the fuck they were. They have like ladies that come across. It's only women that are the beer vendors, and they're all young. I As to, they should be. I, I have to start watching Japanese. <laughs> I got to find a way for to depixelate that shit. Uh. Um, but yeah, and so I'm like, yeah, right here, and they bring us two beers. And I'm like, cool. And then I'm like, oh, two more. And then I'm like, oh fuck, it's a highball, which is what they. <laughs> it's whiskey and soda. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, well, fuck, I guess I'll get another one of those. Nope, that's a lemon sour. All right, well, I'll have another one. Oh, back to beer again. <laughs> like, <laughs> they just want to get you fucked up. And I don't think they have ice machines oh. because every bar we went to, they were fucking chipping off blocks of fucking ice. Oh, wow. Which was, and even in That's the fucking crazy. ballpark, that was the blocked ice like that. Wow. Yeah. All right. So. Well, glad you had a great trip, man, and glad you're back. Yeah, uh, I'm not glad to be back. That's okay. That's, That's all right. I, feel, I was kind of wondering if you'd just stay over there. I wanted to. You know what, though? I think they knew I wasn't from there. Really? <laughs> what yeah. gave really? it away? Yeah, I was telling uh, telling my wife as we're walking through there, and I'm like, you know, normally, like, if we go to a big city, I don't like to, like, look up and shit. I don't want to look like a tourist, but Here, I think they might know. They might know. know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They figured me out. Yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah. But oh, all the Otanis were nice. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. All 43 of them. They signed every ball they I signed gave every yeah. book. That's right. Yeah. None of them signed it Otani, but... <laughs> yeah. It all looks the same. I, yeah. did, I did get a Kent. Good. So, oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good deal. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to move this show right along to the headlines. I figured uh, Derek probably has been out of the loop for some of this, and so mm-hmm. he's going to really enjoy some of these. But we have a high school team here very close to Wichita. Uh, it's uh, Valley Center High School baseball team. They uh, were at the time, they were 4-12, and 12, and they got in trouble uh, because they tried to turn their season around by allegedly sacrificing a chicken, just like in the movie Major League. On the field. Was it on the field? Yeah. Oh, that's. Yeah. Did they actually do it? No. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. did. They did. Yeah. yeah. They did. What's their record now? Uh, <laughs> zero because they, they got fucking canceled. They are suspended. They're suspended. For the rest they suspended. Of the season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Probably because it wasn't a virgin chicken. Yeah. Right. It's got to be a they virgin chicken. Yeah. <laughs> they fucked it first. They, they never fuck it first. Yeah. Fuck it after you kill it. Yeah. Absolutely. They, they try. They <clears throat> kill the chicken on the field. Yeah. I heard, I heard they were hitting baseballs at it. Yeah. Or something I, like yeah, that. It was yeah. And those good. could be rumors. Yeah. Uh, but it probably would be, not. But it'd be more fun if it if that's how they did it. I'm pretty sure that coach out there with a fungo bat playing target practice with a chicken that'd be all right. Yeah. You know, good stuff. Uh, nice. I, and you know what? I figured let's get into some uh, some foreign sports. I mean, it's hockey. Well, at first, That's... I'm going to have to go get a Valley Center hat. I <laughs> yeah, am a fan. Yeah, right? Uh, Too bad they weren't using cats. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. I would be elated. Wow. I know you would. That uh, gives me an idea. I thought you were going to say boner. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm off to the animal shelter. Keep laughing, assholes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, moving on. He's looking for high school teams that have losing records. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wait. Here we go. Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just go there. Uh, moving on. We got some hockey, and this is actually a world hockey tournament. There was a game, and it was Thailand against Kuwait. And uh, the final score was in a hockey game, 57 to 0. Pretty... Uh, pretty crazy the hockey fan ain't saying shit down there jp is yeah, that a little that, outlandish that's crazy um they that's had insane thailand had 112 t- uh, shots on goal to uh kuwait's one they had 112 shots and scored 57 of them yeah wow <laughs> yeah, this, that's crazy this, good this is worse than the mighty ducks against yeah, trinidad and dude, tobago it's not good. this is not good no. uh but uh, but something tells me that they're in kuwait they don't have a lot of winters you know what i mean I don't think they do in Thailand either, Scott. <laughs> I was just getting ready to say, I, I don't, don't think they're yeah. fucking skiing down mountains <laughs> I, in Thailand. You never know. They got to go over to Fuji in Japan. Yeah, that's probably ski. true. 
Uh, but uh, something that's going to make me and Derek and probably JP very happy. Uh, LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers are out of the NBA playoffs. Yeah. Go Nuggets. Yeah. Go Nuggets. Didn't watch a fucking game. But the only reason why I found out about it was because I saw something on Twitter, which he got like he there was a fan on the front row, female fan yeah. on the front row that was yelling at him. And, and after a call was I yeah, mean, she questionable. Did, she did the crybaby thing. She, yeah. she actually did that and then called him a crybaby. Yeah. And then LeBron comes over and, like, pumps at her. Like, like yeah. he was going to do <laughs> something. Like he's going to hit her. Yeah. Yeah. Like he was going to fucking do uh. something. And it's like that is the equivalent of a piece of shit. You know what she should have done? What? Fell back in the row like he hit her and then sued. And sued. Yeah, yeah. right. I'm sorry. That's what he does in the game. <laughs> yeah, same yeah. thing. I, I should actually get two free throws for that. Yeah. And, <laughs> and now it is happening all over again. I don't know the whole deal, but all I know is that whenever you start looking at the Los Angeles Lakers news, because I love watching them lose and see the stats of What's, when they lose. What sucks is I used to be a fan until he got there. Guess what? You're going to be happy because there is a room rumor going around that he is no longer going to be a Laker. Yeah, he said he wasn't going to answer the question. Exactly, yeah. but uh, apparently the rumors are that he's maybe thinking about going to the Knicks. He's going to go wherever Bronny goes. Uh, whatever. That's what he's going to do. He's going to make somebody draft Bronny so he can go there and destroy their team. Exactly. And then, yeah, the, the Lakers are going to be fucking terrible for years now. I hope he goes back to Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want him to play anymore. I want him to be done. Yeah, I want him to get hit by a bus. <laughs> Actually, I want the bus to like just rev its engine like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wants to get hit. You want him to get hit by the bullet train. Mm, oh, that'd be great. See, that'd be go. Uh, I did see that fucking Jamal Murray dunked on him mm -hmm. and then did his fucking pose. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Good deal. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, enough for the NBA. Uh, but of course, probably the most important thing or the biggest news that happened over the last week uh, was the NFL draft. And I have, a, I have a severe bitch that they need to fucking fix in the NFL draft. The number one overall pick has been thought about by the team that has that pick. The whole first round should go a lot faster. No, the first round, not so much. At no. least the first pick. The first pick. If you, you already know who you're taking. You've got contingencies. You, why do you, you need don't have 10 to minutes? Fucking, you don't. It's, why? It's two things. Drama. Don't give a fuck. One, some may be waiting to see if, if some team calls to offer the entire fucking farm. Like whenever Ricky Williams in that deal. You can but still make that phone call the, before the draft starts. Yeah, but the other one, too, was uh, they were told not to. They, they had them wait till like five minutes or something before they made their pick. They Which is horseshit. Which is horseshit. Because you've got so much TV time a lot of yeah. shit. You yeah. need it to take exactly the correct amount of time. And yep. Right. But but my whole deal was is I, I really wanted I don't to, disagree. Uh, it needs to stop this this whole ten minutes for you the should, first uh, pick. Write a letter to the commissioner. Yeah, like he's going to read that shit. But I just think it's absolutely ridiculous that they do that. I mean, I was at this is the night that I was at Jeff Dunham was that night the draft started and I was yeah. pissed because I was like, it's going to be a two and a half hour show. It starts at seven. So does the draft. I'm going to get home. I'm not going to even get to see who the Detroit Lions pick. Guess what? Two and a half late. Uh, two and a half hours later, I walk home, and guess what? Detroit Pe Peanut announced the pick. <laughs> no, Detroit. <laughs> Detroit. Detroit hadn't even picked yet. And I was like, "Fuck! All right." And and then they got uh, you know Terry on Arnold. So I'm very happy with that. What is the deal with this sketch, dude? A uh, sketch is legit. What the fuck is I the fuck, deal with it? He's he's funny. He just who the yeah. fuck is he? He is a Twitch streamer and he's fucking hilarious. But he just he got he basically started going viral when he started clipping all of his actual yeah. Twitch video game footage. Yeah. I love the guy. I didn't I couldn't even remember his name like the last show whenever I brought him up. But sketch Dude, is fucking have funny. Have you seen the newest one where the whatever his friend is, whoever is that his friend or brother? I think it's his friend. He makes like uh, food. He makes spaghetti, um, and he's trying the spaghetti, dude. It's hilarious. I think I did. He's, see it. The shit he talks is yeah. so funny, dude. Mm -hmm. it, it's he's just his timing's really good. I yeah. didn't know he's funny, funny he dude. Is. I like, didn't know yeah. either until I start, started seeing TikToks. Yeah, and he's funny, man. That's the thing. His, his, his timing, his timing's, his timing's really, good, really good. Yeah, his and his timing. Awesome. Is he autistic or something? He like, says there's nothing there's wrong something with him. Something wrong with dude, him, dude. He, he's out playing golf with headphones on. Now, right. You don't do that unless you have something. I, mean, something I don't care what it them. is, no, no, but no, I but think 
I think he's definitely not all there. He has to have some form of autism right. because, he, because what he's describing to himself is he's just like he. It's just when he gets fired up, and it's like okay, that means sensory overload is right. what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you need to add a van. Yeah, yeah. So, like, dude, I just walk on my toes when I get pumped. <laughs> right, right. But yeah, but yeah, I, I fucking love sketch though. Yeah, That's man, awesome. uh, he's very funny. Yeah, he got to do. Uh, he got to p- make the pick for Houston, which I yeah, saw, yeah. which was really. That's where cool. I was asking. That yeah, cool. yeah. Um, but uh, out of out of everybody in the draft, what was the one pick that you were like, "What the fuck?" Because obviously you got what you wanted. You got Caleb Williams and a Dunes, eh? Yeah, so you got what you want. But there's a lot of people that were really questioning the Atlanta Falcons pick, which was Michael Penix Jr. My question was fucking Bo Nix. Bo Nix to Denver. Why not? Well, I don't mind not, that. Dude. I don't mind that pick. You didn't have to. You could have got him in the second round. Oh, that's probably that's probably true. There's no need to take him there. You could have traded down, he laid could've. down in the in that round, and still got him. Hey, You're man, probably right. But we got Zach Wilson. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, that's right. You know why? So we don't have to change the jerseys. <laughs> <laughs> Saves us even that much more money, dude. Absolutely. Saving that money, baby. No, but my- did you see how much fucking JJ McCarthy and Zach Wilson look alike? A lot. Holy shit. They do pretty, look a lot alike. Crazy. I'm kind of wondering if Zach Wilson fucked his mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I thought, like, watching the video and the pan out, the drone footage in Detroit was fucking insane. It was, it was so a, cool. 700,000 people. It was, yeah, said, it was yeah. a lot. Crazy. Um, but yeah, the the Michael Penix pick, it, it, it kind of throws me off. First round pick. Even the owner comes over and, and it's like, Talking to the guy who made the pick, is like, what the, what fuck, the fuck are, are you, you doing? doing? Uh, yeah, they just signed Kirk Cousins. They signed yeah. Kirk Cousins to a four year deal. For it was over a hundred mil. It was like one hundred eight or one fifteen. I can't remember. But now, are you do? Are you trying to do the Jordan Love thing? Yeah, is that for what? Sure. Is that they what you're trying to, to yeah. do? Yeah. Or are you? Are you just you, not that confident in in? You know? No, Kirk I don't Cousins. think it's that. I don't think it's that. I, I don't either. Kirk Cousins is very good at. Uh, um, he's very, like a very, I don't know how to say the, what, what I'm trying to say, but he's the peanut of the NFL. He's by, the peanut. No, he's very by the book and he understands the game very well. He and just doesn't he's, have he's, any he's, talent. Be, I mean, he's going to be a he's great okay. person to, to bring that kid up and teach him what he needs to know to play good. And I mean, to be able to fucking compete in the NFL because it's not the same. There's too many, especially at the quarterback position. Yeah. Dude, you see it every year where this fucking renowned quarterback and he ends up starting because he goes to a team that needs a fucking quarterback so bad. Yeah. And they suck and they they don't they're not good. And it and you know, it takes a lot of development. You used and to have to wait a year or yeah, two and now right. you now don't. you well now they, they throw you straight in. They throw in. you straight in, yeah. but yeah, I think that's what they're doing. I think they're just trying to develop him a little bit. I and do give too. Him some four, time. four years is a little crazy, and I think it's also a little crazy. But dude, to that think was that the norm. I, I also think it's a right? little crazy. Yeah, ten years ago, yeah. ten years ago, sure, not that was the norm. Twenty years ago, that okay, was the norm, yeah. you know, you sat three to four years behind somebody. Look at Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, yeah, I perfect get it. example, Jordan man. Did the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Patrick Mahomes sat a year behind Alex Smith. Yeah, yeah, one year. Yeah, but that was newer. Yeah. I mean. And I think uh, Alex Smith got hurt to the point to where I think you had to bring had in to Mahomes. Bring him in. And yeah. I think, Ma- if I remember, I could. Yeah, bring. no, you're you're not wrong. I, actually, I, I think they may have sat him another year or two if yeah. they could, but yeah. there was no choice there. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, yeah I, I don't, I don't. I'm not freaking out about how bad this pick is. I don't think it's necessarily Seems like you are. terrible. I just I just kind of question it after paying cousins that Get amount that of money. I hope That's, he does great. I do man, too. He's gotten shit on so bad. I do too. And I don't think he really. I don't think he, it's warranted. Yeah. So I hope he does fucking great. I, I do too. I do too. But uh, the other thing how about was, that kid they called up for the Orioles. Yeah, that uh, sucks. He's not doing very good. Oh, no, they've, they've already did. They've, they already put yeah, him back it's, down. It's, yeah, it's my boy's son. Uh, yeah, uh, it's um, Holiday's son, and um, he's already gone back down yeah, to AAA. So you have to. He's you can't hot let as him, fuck. You can't let him sit but up you, there and struggle. You have to send him. But back you down. also can't do what they did, which is call him up too early and just to send him back down. I think he was mashing in AAA. I I get it, but so it, you call you. I mean, if you're hitting 380 in AAA or whatever, what's uh, I don't why know. keep you there? Now you've got a grievance, and but yeah. now when you come up and struggle, now you go back down and you're going to sit until you're. I yeah. yeah I don't know I just didn't like it but uh, but that is the sports news Travis Cagle decided to send us something that he wanted us to talk about and I had to put it in the show because right I on. think you guys would love it 
Uh, but he showed uh, an article that made me fucking piss myself laughing. Um, there was a woman that got stood up on a date. She later finds out that the no restaurant way. tricked her into eating dinner alone. She later finds out that there are restaurants who are posing as real single men on dating apps no just to get way. them to go into the dude, restaurant. You know how brilliant that is, alone. dude. Nice. That's like some Nathan for you shit. You oh, know who Nathan shit. Fielder is? Have I, you ever seen those? No. Dude, you got to watch those. But this is like a real life no, episode this, this of is, punk dude, for, right. for regular people. That's what this people. kid, this guy, is. he does like marketing for different places, but he does like the most outlandish shit, dude. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. I'm thinking about doing that for my restaurant. And me. <laughs> and I like it. You better use somebody else's picture. Oh, fuck. <laughs> they said. Thank God you're here. <laughs> Because I would have, I'd have fucked that up. They said that even if it was a female, nine wow. times out of ten, she would order something to eat. She would right. order appetizer of and food course. and then leave. So they nine times wow. out of ten, they would get money off of it. That's fucking brilliant. Whoa, that's awesome. It's great. Do we, was this true? Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's what Travis what Cagle said, said yeah. so it's got to be. I wonder where this was. I like to I think know. that if she didn't tip, that they sent her a text that said 15, 20, or 25%. <laughs> we noticed, hey, I noticed you didn't fill out your tip card. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out your date was with the bartender. <laughs> uh, wow, that's fucking crazy. But I figured you guys would like that. Man, yeah. Chuck E. Cheese is fucking pulling out all the stops. They nowadays, sure are. Oh, Jesus. Uh, but anyways, that is headlines. Oh, no, man, we got one, one more. Uh, what's the next one? What's one? I can't believe you don't have it in here. I don't. They what? found video. Oh, fuck. That's Diddy. The Diddler. Diddy did it. The Diddler. They got video of him with Justin Bieber and Usher. When they were underage, I heard. Yeah. Yikes. Did he fuck them both? Oh, more than that, I'm sure, but... Uh, the, what else do you do more than fun, <laughs> JP? Like what? What goes on top of that? I mean, you Norm, really want to know? No, I don't. I, I don't. am curious. I'm a. I'm a show I'm me a, on Scotty. I'm gonna guess. <laughs> <laughs> show me on the doll whether he hurt you. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it rhymes with the word grape. Yeah, probably gape. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. We could do Woo. word association. No. You say grape. I think the first thing that comes to my mind is gape. Oh, That's yeah, weird. Of course it Mine's does. Gilbert. But the, Gilbert. <laughs> whoa. Uh, but the thing is that it doesn't matter. They've they've got video evidence, but they can't find the fucker. I don't. I, mean, I don't know he if gone? he's is he really missing. I think so. I don't know. I mean, they're coming up all so all these lawsuits keep coming too. Um, just a ridiculous amount of, of lawsuits Good, from he different deserves people. every bit of it. Yeah. You, you want to find them, all you got to do is follow the remix. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, dude. But I Crazy mean... Crazy shit, man. I mean, I, I, I'm guessing he's in some fucking foreign country. He's got, he's got to be, but at the same time... But anyway. It's like... Find that might just be a rumor, guy. but I believe it. Yeah, maybe. I mean, what if he's in New Hampshire? Yeah. I'd, ne he, I'd never look he's there. At, he's at he's at Martha's Vineyard. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that where is that where that's at? It's somewhere up there. Okay, I don't, I don't think I don't it's know. in New Hampshire, Rhode Island. I don't know. I don't know. Not either. If you know where Martha's Vineyard's at, let us know it's and then yeah. kindly stop watching the show. <laughs> it's it's <Yeah>. probably yeah. <laughs> in California. <laughs> no, it's on, it's on the no. east coast. What's the one in California? What's the wine Napa Valley? That's the one I'm yeah. thinking. I've been there. Yeah, you have. Uh, but anyways, that is headlines. Now we get to move on to the fun parts Mass of the Massachusetts? show. Massachusetts? That sounds right. I think it's in Massachusetts. Yeah. Whatever. All right. I got to know. I can't even name two cities in New Hampshire. That's how I know it's not a state. Yeah. If you can't name two cities, not a state. I've been there. Can you name two cities? Nope. Do you even know the city you were in? Uh, I don't think I was actually in a city. I was in a, like a dock. Dukes County, Massachusetts. Hey, there you go. Nice. Good for you. Way to look it up. Just Dukey. seven miles off the coast of Cape Cod. That's a oh, that's okay. a very where that's at. That's a very classy Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It really is. Yeah. Wow. Uh, wow. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Let's move on like to the General Lee is a Tesla. <laughs> is a Tesla. <laughs> yeah. Still the wow. same paint job, and yeah. the doors don't open. No, it's a Union flag. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, all right, now let's move on to Never Have I Ever. Thank you guys very much for participating in Monday, Friday. Uh, we had a lot of good ones and a lot of duplicates. So, uh, yeah, be on the lookout for next Friday and participate. If we like your uh, suggestion, we will give you a shout on the show. Uh, first one comes in from Jeremy Hopkins. He wants to know, never have I ever been drunk at a child's birthday party. 
No, but I have been at a drunk child's birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> They're much easier to deal with. You and Diddy both, apparently. <laughs> I was getting ready to say, I don't think I have, but I want to say the diddler has. I've never been drunk at a kid's birthday party. Yeah. But I've been high as fuck there. I I I have been, not you've not been a, high at every birthday party. Correct. <laughs> it doesn't correct. matter where it is. I've not been drunk at a child's birthday party, but I have been drunk at a child's like baseball game. I'm high right now. I know. Uh, did I say high? I meant drunk. You said, said drunk. Okay. Drunk. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's good. JP's mind fucking you. That's he where is. it starts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. If the, and if that works like it did, <laughs> watch out for step two. No. <laughs> Is that what's harder than fucking? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to do it. All right. Next one comes in from Ricky Lawhorn. He wants to know, never have I ever flirted with a friend's wife or girlfriend in front of them. JP boyfriend. <laughs> I don't think I have. I don't, I don't either. You have. Who? Huh? Who? <laughs> Slate it. I did? Oh, yeah. Was I drunk? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, then I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Katie looked at me and she was like, "Oh my god! I if I was remember. Elena, I'd have killed him." I don't remember. She walked in. You're like Courtney. And you go no, give her a big hug. No, and then just her ass. Like no, Elena's just yeah. like off in the corner, and he's just so. How you been? What's going on? Oh like, god, I don't remember any of it. Wow. Them, so it doesn't count. Mm. <laughs> How about you, JP? Um. Hmm. I mean, maybe. <laughs> But here's the thing about gays. We probably all just ended up fucking. That's you know what true. I mean? Yeah, probably. So I'm sure I have. Okay. Well, but it probably weird. ended in like a foursome or something. That's fucking weird. Derek, how about you? I just said no. Okay. I don't I don't think. Okay. I don't think. I don't know how to flirt. So yeah, <laughs> you know I what I mean? yeah. I don't think Derek's hitting on anyone. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't that know. That rejection to has to hurt. All right. That's well, that, right. Well, you know. I got, I, you know, I always got friend zoned. Mm -hmm. And that's. Uh, yeah. I got that's, a lot of uh, Yeah. Good I could friends. see that because just your personality. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've got a wonderful personality. You do. You really do. Yeah. I'm like a big teddy bear. Yeah. I know that one too. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. This has been a fun show so far. So far. Uh, next one comes in from Zach Rothgeb. He wants to know. Zach Rothgeb. Yep. He wants to know, never have I ever clogged up the toilet at work. Dude, that's crazy. Why? Just today. <laughs> Dude. So my fucking dishwasher. Oh, so what? Well, you're supposed this, to use the toilet, not the dishwasher. <laughs> yeah. No. So the dishwasher, who is this greasy little bastard anyway, <laughs> fucking comes walking out of the bathroom after he'd been in there for fucking ever. Yeah. He comes walking out and he goes, Toilet's clogged, and then walks back to the dish pit, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Oh yeah, dude, you are the manager." Like, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you, go unclog it. <laughs> yeah, dude, I was like, so the rest of the day for like the next hour and a half, I didn't scrape a dish. I just oh. fucking threw it all, whatever was on the fucking plate, napkins, fucking utensils. Should have set it back. I and just, just went, fucking plates dirty. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. <laughs> so he comes up toward the end of the day, and he's like, hey, man, what the fuck? And I go, exactly. I go, what the fuck? I said, when you go and clog the toilet, I'll start scraping the dishes again. <laughs> fuck off. Yeah. What I, the I, fuck? That's a crazy question, though. That Well, the question, though, is, is have you? No. Okay. Yeah. I, because, I, I, I it, again, unless it is an emergency, I shit at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My fucking... Best friend, Brian. Or if I'm in Japan. <laughs> I forget what restaurant he was working at. I think it was Outback. And yeah. he said that somebody come come up to him and they were like, there's a potato. <laughs> and he's like, what? She's like, yeah, there's like a baked potato. <laughs> and he's like, walks in there. He's like, fuck, there is. He's like, who the fuck? How would someone have a fucking baked potato? And he kind of looks at it a little longer. He's like, oh, no. <laughs> That had to hurt oh. because it was not a potato. Oh. It was a fucking turd oh, that was the size dude. of a baked potato. Bro. Yeah. Someone's onion was blooming. <laughs> Bro. Dude, they were gaped for sure. Uh, that's not <laughs> natural. Oh, no. I have never. I'm the same as JP. Yeah, if I have yeah. to go to the restroom at work, it's a rarity. I like to wait till I get home. 
However, there is some motherfucker at my work, and I know he works there because it happens every day <laughs> at like ten o'clock in the in, at like ten o'clock in the morning. Whenever I have to go in there and use it, uh, the occasion there is always shit splattered onto the back of the bowl, mm. and it's like, dude, either scoot up or go see a doctor. It's fucking disgusting. Yeah, and, well, and it's somebody uh, who drinks every night because those are whiskey shits. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. Something is wrong with that person. Anyways, uh, next one comes in from Mason Cole. He wants to know, never have I ever ignored work calling me asking if I could come in on my day off. abso fucking loot. Man, I can't believe you picked that question. I, what I, a dumb fucking question. Because everybody has. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, who was that from? That was Mason Cole. Mason Cole, do me a favor, man. Just <laughs> fucking end it. No, don't do that. No, I'm serious, man. No. Just Dude, find some traffic and no, 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 no. Oh. I had a, when I was selling cars. There was a, there used to be this program called Tacobi. Have you heard of it? No. So basically, what it is is you would go on like Facebook and click the ad that you were interested in a car, and then this app called Tacobi would like text you from your phone because you have to put your information in, and then this virtual thing would set an appointment, and then as the salesperson, you would see this and get an alert, and then have to go and confirm the appointment. Sure. So I wasn't working that morning, and I the next morning, and I'd looked the day before and had seen that Tacoby had confirmed me an appointment, and this bitch was sketch. Oh. <laughs> so not like actual sketch, not that weird dude. <laughs> but, uh, um, so I fucking look at the notes, and I can't remember, but it just seemed odd. And so I show up like that afternoon when I'm supposed to be there, but not in the morning, and they're like, we've been trying to call you. And turns out uh, it was a hooker, and oh. she was trying to buy a car, and they were like, hey, do you have any money down? She's like, I can in a couple hours. Oh, and she nice. was like Christ. full-on fucking black Fuck fish nets, yeah, dude. Oh, fucking man. Rolling Stones jean jacket, <laughs> oh, fucking no. hair teased up. Then they uh. she wanted him to drop her off somewhere. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm like, no. Yeah, and I was like, fucking fuck you, Tacoby. I'm not fucking, no way. Oh, wow. I don't All know right. what that has to do with... Because I didn't, uh, I didn't come in. Didn't come I ignored the call. The call. Okay, yeah. They were calling me, trying to get me to come in for That's a fucking funny. appointment. That's I'm like, funny. I, oh, I'm sorry. My phone was off. <laughs> uh, so next one uh, comes in from Mark Aaron Deffenbaugh, serial killer. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever been... Oh, mad. Oh, man. That's even that's a big-time serial that killer. Big I never noticed that till now. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, mad. Mm -hmm. uh, he wants to know, never have I ever been booed off a mic for a bad karaoke singing. If I ever sang karaoke, I would. Uh huh. I'm a horrible singer. Doesn't matter if you are a person that wants to go up and do karaoke uh, karaoke singing, then you should be booed. And I don't care if you're good or not. Yeah, okay. That's still my rule. There, kind of. Okay. Kind of. Uh, they unplug the mic. They're, they're used to. There's a song that Adam Sandler wrote. Uh, it's kind of about JP. It's called At a Medium Pace. <laughs> um, have you heard the song? Yes. Okay. Uh, JP, you're the inspiration. Thank you. Um, so me, when I bartended at a karaoke bar, which was the worst five years of my life, <laughs> um, me and the other bartender would occasionally sing this. One oh, would be man. working, and I, one would be behind the bar, but we would sing this. Uh, and I come in one night on my off night to hang out with him. He's bartending. We're, I, I'm drinking. He's had a couple. And uh, I'm like, well, you ready? And he's like, yeah, sure. So they play it. There's only like 12 people in the bar. And uh, it's a very vulgar song. And this chick comes up and is trying to take the microphone out of my hands. <laughs> wow. She's like, you're done. Nope, you're done. And the lyrics just so happened to match up just right that I was like, will someone please get this bitch out of my face? Yeah. And she's like, what'd you just say to me? And I went into the next song. And I was like, play with my balls and tell me how big they are. Because that's what's on the screen. I'm like, I'm singing the words. Get away from me. <laughs> So uh, that she tried to take the mic from me, and I fucking owned her. <laughs> Dare so funny. felt Dare really good. Gave her a fucking right. Yeah, punch. right. I did. Yeah, punch oh, that dude. bitch. Yeah. So kind of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> kind of. Uh, but that is never have I ever. Now we get to move on to JP's favorite part of every single episode. That's where I draw the line. There's some pretty good ones in here. I kind of like them. Uh, first one is going to come in from Dakota Dominic. He wants to know. What is the amount of packages that get stolen from a neighbor before you retaliate in some way? One. Yep. Yeah. 
I don't see where there's any reason to go over that. And then I'm retaliating. I'm the guy that, like, if you get, like, hit one time, I'm punching you as hard as I can five times. Yeah. So oh, I'm going to get you way worse. I'm going to get you yeah, way yeah. worse. I'm definitely shitting in a box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, with glitter that oh, explodes. Yeah. Have, you, have you seen that yeah. video? Yeah. I love that shit. Dude, yeah. it's crazy how, like, where that started and where it is now. Oh, man. Oh, it's nuts. The technology and shit he's put oh, into yeah. that thing. It's yeah. crazy. That, if you have not seen that, just Google the yeah. revenge for, like, package thieves. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Where it is like a bomb with glitter and fart spray. Yeah. First and of all, that fart spray. Have you ever smelled oh, that it's fart yeah. spray? Bad. So that it's fart spray bad. is. I'm not even it's fucking no kidding. Joke, it's dude. so bad. It, sticks. it doesn't smell like a fart. No. It smells it's like raw yeah. asshole. Mm. Like <laughs> that you haven't wiped your your mm. ass in days you know without who, a shower. You know who doesn't know what that smells like? The Japanese. <laughs> 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 the yeah. The cleanest assholes in the world. In the world, the Japanese. <laughs> Yeah, mm. it is so fucking foul. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's that's great. I I would uh, I don't know how much those things cost, but I don't think they're cheap. So I, that's why well, I don't. One of those it. bombs. Yeah, yeah. You got to learn how to make. You got to go. You got to be an engineer. Uh, yeah, or I autistic. Yeah. You got to do one. You got to be one of those two things. I wonder if Sketch can make one. Yeah, I bet. Right. I bet he can. He probably. That's could. probably how I got rich. I had a buddy uh, that got his shit stolen one time. And uh, he went full ghillie suit, him and his son, oh, paintball guns. Oh, yes. And fucking lit this dude up. Yes. And, like, the dude just limped away finally, but they uh, got him pretty good, that's man. That's perfect. Yeah. Fucking perfect. There was a dude in Florida. He ended up getting, I think he got arrested. I don't know if he went to prison, but he was. people were getting in his garage. And so he fucking went one night, and he sat in a chair and turned the lights out in the garage and sat there with a pistol and the first person that came in he fucking shot and killed him oh turns and out it well. was his it turns out it was his wife <laughs> no. she was coming out to the garage to get a <laughs> no but they got him because wow. uh, he had like an ashtray just full of cigarette butts yeah and yeah. they knew so what they he, knew was he was doing there. right so it was like entrapment so premeditated or yeah whatever, so right. i don't know if he i can't remember wow. if he went to prison or not yeah. but eh, he kind of is justified well yeah but you can't it's got to be no, it's Florida. Yeah, I know, no, dude. Florida. I get what you're saying, but ah, uh, but anyway, it's a lawless swamp. Uh, <laughs> Florida man. Uh, next one comes in from Braxton Lint. Uh, he wants to know uh, where do you draw the line? How awkward does a situation have to get before you just leave? I can't watch people who suck at singing sing on the Voice. That's that's awkward to me. And I will walk out of the fucking room so I can't hear it anymore when my wife watches it. Okay. Uh, that's, that's, an, that's awkward enough. I almost mm. walked out of the bowling alley yesterday watching after <laughs> JP, JP was getting yeah. ready to fucking beat old one tooth Willie. Right. right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. How about you, JP? I don't think you ever walk out. I am usually the reason that it's awkward. <laughs> How am I sh- not sure? Um, and I fucking live for that shit. <laughs> so... <laughs> I will, if I'm not involved, I will involve myself. <laughs> Somehow. And I will, or I will at least just sit there and watch because, mm-hmm. yeah, man, I'm into it. The entertainment factor for you, I think oh, you're going to you're gonna sit there yeah, yeah. and get as close oh, seats. Oh, 100%. The best dude. seats like in the Like I house. said, yeah. if I'm not involved, I will do everything I can to interject yeah, myself. Absolutely. Uh, all right. Next one comes in from Chase Golden. How far is too far to travel for a good meal? Derek says Japan. No, that's not too far. <laughs> it's not too far. No, I don't think there's a definite. I don't think there's a. Yeah, there's not too but far. But you're not going to Japan just for food. So, no, but it it did play a part. It plays a part. He it said, but that fucking corn dog, bro. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, that corn dog was great. But it, it, it plays a part. Like I don't want. Like my wife wants to go to Greece. Part of me doesn't want to because I don't like Mediterranean food. Same. But I'll eat the fuck out of sushi and all that shit. Yep. So yeah. I don't care how long the plane ride is if the food's good. That is kind but of But you're the never thing. going. The way he's saying is how far is too far to go just for food? You're saying that you would book a trip to Japan just for the food. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I yeah. Okay. All right. I'm not even kidding. I'm in, Dude. I'm, me and Derek are on the same page. I, don't, I agree. Day. I think it would be the same for me if I ever got rich yeah, somehow. Absolutely. Uh, if you had money, you'd go to Italy to get Italian. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah for absolutely. sure. I love fucking Italian yeah. food but and men. It's also a mindset because we live in the middle of the country, right? right? So right. we, it, it, whenever we go to some place, the first thing that pops into a lot of our heads 
is the food. Because yeah. what what do we have? We have excellent steak in Kansas, in the Midwest. We have good steak. Yeah. So what what do we want that we have shitty here? We want to go and eat seafood, sushi, all the kind of good I'll shit. I'll tell you what, the best thing I ate over there was beef, though. That uh, wagyu. Oh, well, yeah, wagyu. Yeah. Oh, my God. You can get something similar in the not Midwest. It's just like not, that. As, it's not the same. Mm. And it's expensive as fuck. Oh, dude, speaking of food, real quick. The craziest fucking thing they had over there. Do you know what sashimi is? You told yes. me. Yeah. Can I tell you what? It, I didn't tell you this, did I? I believe so. Yeah, sashimi is the is like the fish. The raw fish. Yeah, raw fish. On the rice. thing of rice. Yes. They had chicken sashimi. Right. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. Can you believe that? No. I watched, I watched that them make it. That can't be right. No. Yeah. That can't be right. Yeah. No. I watched them make it, and I was like, oh, my fucking God. You didn't eat that, did you? Fuck no, I didn't eat that. <laughs> I drew the line there. You can do steak or chicken. <laughs> I I might have tried the steak. I've had steak tartare and shit. Yeah, I've had that before. Chicken, sh- you're, I'm out on chicken sashimi, man. No, no. fucking way. <laughs> Salmonella, fuck uh-huh. you. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yep. Their stomachs are probably accustomed to it. Probably. But not mine. No. All right. Ugh. Yeah, that's gross, man. Glad you brought that up. Mm-hmm. I'll be keep my eyes peeled for that one. Uh next one comes in from Wayne Fargnoli. He wants to know how many days after a birthday will you still say happy belated birthday to someone? One. <laughs> it was a uh, shout out to my buddy Scott. It was just his him and his twins' birthday a couple days ago, and I never said anything. Uh <laughs> My answer's two. Two days. <laughs> you still didn't say anything. I did. I said happy birthday just now. Okay. Nope. I'm zero. If you missed it, yeah, you're I'm, done. Yeah, okay. You're done. Yeah, I agree. And Derek makes it fucking impossible because if you don't know the fucking day that he actually has his birthday on. Well, you just know fuck. the first time that you see it, it's bullshit. Yeah, well, that's well, true. Well, second no. one's real. I, I have to, like, it's actually a good tactic because I, I will never forget your fucking birthday. Yeah, right. Your actual birthday, yeah. April 9th. Mm-hmm. See? I know it. Because he does he that does stupid that, yeah. shit, and I got to go, wait. Three months no, beforehand, yeah. No, you dick. So, your mom knows my birthday. I know she does. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's true. Yeah. No, I she, believe it. She knows. Uh, what she get you? <laughs> <laughs> a happy birthday message. She got me a life size peanut. Doll. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Yeah, regift. Yeah. <laughs> uh, last one comes in from Sam Killian. He wants to know what is something you would not use to wipe your ass if you are out of toilet paper. My like, where's the line? Where's the line? I mean. <sighs> Kleenex, obviously. My boyfriend's face. That's disgusting. <laughs> you sick fuck. You sick, sick fuck. I, I'm, I'm not opposed. Said, it's that stuff you would not use. You no, know, it's like, it's like, where would you cut it off? Oh. Like, where would you cut? Like, I obviously, <laughs> I've, I've been in a situation to where I was camping, to where I actually had to use a piece of clothing in order to. Yeah, okay. Th- that's happened before okay. because I didn't know the plant life around. I've right. heard so yeah, many stories. Stories, yeah. Of, you don't want to wipe your ass with the wrong leaf. And it's not even that it was poison. It just has a weird reaction specifically yeah, with, with your, your butthole. Yeah, yeah. Butthole's so, a sensitive thing, man. Yeah, so I got to treat it nice. I, I'm gonna. I'm not wiping if I if if it's just past fuck clothing. It. Just, yeah. I'll go jump in a stream. Okay. Yeah. You know where they don't have this problem at? <laughs> Japan. Japan. <laughs> <laughs> they, they have those out in the, in the woods, in the heavily wooded areas. Dude, they have... <laughs> <laughs> they have the the subway bathrooms are clean. <laughs> Here the bathrooms at Subway aren't clean. <laughs> yeah, I saw a uh, I saw a TikTok yesterday. It was this little kid. He's probably about five or six years old, and they lived out in the country apparently. Mm-hmm. And uh, she goes, "Where'd you just come from?" And he goes, "I just went outside to go potty." And he's she's like, "What do you mean?" He goes, "Pee and poop." And he goes. <laughs> I wipe my ass with a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Dude, I was like, I had a kid. <laughs> yeah. I had a kid. But I think the overall cutoff is, is <laughs> I think the overall cutoff that we can all agree on, I would never use my hand. Never. Well. Never. never. Yeah. I, I would not. I'm, I'm I've not saying accidentally it. done it. That's that, that was it. Really, really thin it paper. Was more of my finger. Oh than God. My ass, than that's my enough. Hand. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that is that's where we draw the line for Most this week. Most of the time, week. you can feel it when you get up in there, but sometimes no. That's so fucking gross. 
Uh, but now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is questions and preguntas. And we're going to kick this bitch right off. First one comes in from Jeremy Hopkins. Uh, he wants to know, children's fairy tales or nursery rhymes uh, made dirty by changing one word. Hey, diddy diddle. Damn it, you fucker. Wow. That is exactly. Nice. I said, hey, diddle diddler is what yeah, I said. Hey, diddle diddler. Damn okay, it. You that's suck. Good. That's really good. How about you, JP? Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I tried to think of some other ones, but that was too I can't think of that perfect. many nursery rhymes, man. Uh, uh, here's Tom Thumb. Old Mother Hubbard. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know like the Andrew Dice Clay versions, but. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Old Mother Fucker, I guess. <laughs> sure, I that mean, sounds good. I'm good with that one. one word. Absolutely. Uh, next one comes in from Taylor Morosky. She wants to know something on a porn site that would catch you completely off guard. Peter, Peter, pecker eater. <laughs> there you go. That's for both. Uh, I, I, it's fine. Uh, a porno with peanut. <laughs> yeah, <well>. Yikes. <laughs> Fuck the purple doll. Yikes. I'm out. Uh, how about you, Derek? British narrator. <laughs> I can say <laughs> I like, <laughs> just narrating what happens. Uh, Richard and, Attenborough. <laughs> that would be so sick. And now he performs Conolingus <laughs> yeah. on the woman. You can tell she's feeling aroused. <laughs> oh, the way her toes oh are he's doing oh he's doing a great job. She's starting to squirt. <laughs> At this point, the female mounts the male. <laughs> uh, you got anything down there, JP? Um. I can say this with full confidence. Two girls, one cup. <laughs> I have. Uh, that's. Yeah. That's. Uh, that one got me. Uh, that'll that get one you. got me. Oh, Jesus. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. In it my is, life. Yeah, dude, it's bad. Uh, all right. Next one comes in from Ty Tharp. He wants to know a good name for an Amish porno movie. Come Springer. Hey, that's good. Come Springer. I like it. Yeah, come Springer. Come Springer. Springer. Um, <laughs> Sounds like my kind of party. Uh, yeah, <laughs> come spring up. I've got uh, I've got a couple. Okay, uh, furry farmers, uh, the, the super soaker, and uh, amazing Abe. Abe actually hand whittles uh, sex toys out of wood. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's nice. careful. I thought, I you thought, better yeah. use enough shellac, or you'll get a splinter. <laughs> exactly. You don't want to. He's really popular. You know, <laughs> he makes good ones. Yeah, uh, pole, pole barn. <laughs> pole barn nice nice, nice. uh how about you, you got any jp that's nah, okay it was worth a shot yeah i know uh, I'm the worst. <clears throat> next one comes in from benji varnum he wants to know if you could go back in time and give 18 year old you any piece of advice what would it be by amazon <laughs> yeah i was just kidding it's got to be something money related for yeah. me oh, like 100 percent. yeah invest buy in bitcoin. google yeah buy bitcoin oh, yeah yeah oh yeah. Uh, yeah that would have been a good one yeah uh yeah invest in google uh, i mean it's it's all it's all that shit <laughs> or or <laughs> hugs or, not drugs <laughs> right uh, bet all everything that you've got on the 2016 right. no, Chicago right. yeah, Cubs. Yeah, 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 dude. That, yeah. They were the favorites. Were they? Yeah. Going I was always now. so jealous of that fucking almanac and fucking Back to the Future. 100%. I was like, dude, I wanted that thing so bad. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I could have uh, bought one of them in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> you could. Yeah. They had a they had a store called Toy Sapien, and they had all these lifelike fucking statues. Oh, fuck. and uh, they had a Back to the Future display. All the statues were sold out. I got a little time machine, but they had the sports almanac. And That's shit cool. There. That's cool. Uh, the last two come in from William Speed. First one, he wants to know rejected sounds for the car horn. Like just a queef. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't going to move. That ain't going to move anything. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, gunshots. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd get like out of that. the way pretty good. I like that. Yep. Derek. Dog whistle. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, That'd be funny. <laughs> oh, fuck. Just nice. driving through You're neighborhoods. Holding it down. <laughs> Nobody yeah. knows what's going on, but the dogs are going fucking crazy. <laughs> I love it. Uh, and hey, do you think you could rig something like that up for me? Maybe. Probably okay. could. I probably could. Actually. I would like that. I please. really could. Uh, and last one. Uh, last one also comes in from William Speed. He wants to know if your ex was a street sign, what would it read? No rear entry. <laughs> Bumps ahead. <laughs> Dead end. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Slow. 
<laughs> they had to be to date Derek. Caution children playing. Yeah, maybe. That's if she's got kids. What about if for your spouse and not your ex, your spouse? Um, wide load. <laughs> uh, mine is honest. Yeah. Private property. Keep out, uh-huh. motherfucker. Mine's still no rear entry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very well done. Ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas for this week. Thank you guys so very much for participating in Monday, Friday. Keep uh, your eyes peeled for this Friday. I don't get why it's no rear entry. (laughs) I don't either. I have a great starter cock. My wife wife doesn't have that sign. Uh, Oh, (laughs) boy. Yikes. Uh, yeah, so now we get to move Yikes. on <laughs> to, oh, God. to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, JP has won his fifth straight draft. Thanks to you guys and knowing that I am the fucking best Mm -hmm. and proving it five weeks in a row. Okay. Thank you. Good for you. Let's make it six. I got a close second, so I am uh, (laughs) the Eiffel Tower picks. Got a kid. And Derek has been gone for a while, so he gets the first pick, the supreme advantage. And uh, this week's draft is going to be you come home from work and find out that your wife or spouse had a garage sale. What things would you be super pissed off that you found out, found out that she or he sold? Okay. What stuff would piss you off the most? Okay. Derek, you get the first overall pick. My PlayStation 5. You son of a bitch. <laughs> so that ruins my Xbox, that, huh? <laughs> you can still... You, That's yeah. different. You can sell, That's I mean, different. Is it, your is Xbox? it really different? Yeah. All right. But uh, that was my first overall pick. So, so much for that. I still love when we had the draft and you were like, I'm taking a nail gun. I'm like, I'm taking, <laughs> I'm taking nails. Air yeah, air compressor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Fine. Fuck your nail gun. I have fun throwing your nails. Yeah, I remember that draft. That was funny. I'm going to take my Chicago Cubs signed World Series picture. Nice. You don't have one. Nice. I, I, I have it hidden He can have whatever he, we can have whatever he wants. Yeah. Dude. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna go with that. Nice. As my nice. first overall pick. Good pick. Yep. JP, what is your pit two picks in a row? All right. My first one is going to be my autographed. <laughs> um. Chris Farley photo. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Yep. That's a really good one. <laughs> and then my second pick is the part of the bleachers from Wrigley Stadium. Oh God! I've got a, I've got a one of the it's bleachers. Ama- it's amazing how yeah, you got that from Wrigley Field. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. My second pick. Let me see. I'm gonna. I gotta go. I gotta go with uh, something that I have. <laughs> My golf clubs. Oh, no. I thought that's cheating. I know. You fucked it off, man. I, I want to repick. <laughs> Bullshit, dude. I want repicks. I couldn't think of You're anything. You're a dick, dude. I couldn't think of anything you else. You fuck. <laughs> you set me up. I did not. I did not. You set me up. I just couldn't think of it. Dude, there's so much. I know. <laughs> Come on, man. You I can know. think of something. I, I, yeah, okay. I'm back. Come on. Uh, Take that off there. Derek. <laughs> Take the golf clubs I, I, off. I, I can't. Dude, I then I want repicks. <laughs> okay, what, Derek? You get two in a row. My dog. Your Dude, this dog. is bullshit, man. Uh, <laughs> you couldn't come up with Wrigley? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> I Hulk Hogan signed boot. <laughs> How many times have you been in his basement, that's, man? That's what I'm thinking. God about that. damn it. You ruined it. I'm not. I'm going to. I'll get it. Derek, you get one more pick in a row. My signed Jordan jersey. Oh, uh, see, you that, couldn't come up with that? I forgot about that. God dang. <sighs> You're the <laughs> you worst. We're gonna use all my shit. Yeah, that uh, was the plan, and then he fucked uh, off on it. Fuck. Uh, well, we're going to be back on track. I'm going to go to the Back to the Future hu- signed hoverboard. Nice. Yep. 
I'd be super pissed off if my golf clubs were gone, though. But, dude, that was not part of the deal we made. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) JP, what is your... You get two in a row. You get two in a row. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go with my Hulk Hogan signed boot. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) All right. (laughs) And my little homies... Oh, collectors those what are, are awesome. what, what is it the the rapper the mini, rapper ones the minifigures the minifigures man yeah. you know oh, what i'm talking about the nwa team yeah, yeah. that's those. nwa figures my nwa team yeah that's good that's really <laughs> that's, <are> you <laughs> <laughs> that's funny you guys are conspiring and still gonna lose I'm, well we were conspiring till scotty fucked it up <laughs> <laughs> sorry don't vote for scotty vote uh, for me i'm gonna take my mike tyson's punch out signed mike tyson's yeah, punch out that's i've Nintendo seen that game. it's really cool it's really neat yep uh that's Derek, nice. you get two in a row uh my signed walter payton helmet <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah i don't like fucking telling everybody what i got <laughs> that's why we're doing it <laughs> yeah we're this is just off the top of our heads by yeah, the way uh, it is i didn't make a list uh, you got uh, one more pick, Derek. What is your last overall pick? Oh, I hope he doesn't take mine. <laughs> <laughs> My signed Eminem album. Oh, there you go. That's a nice. good one. Uh, God damn it. I, I was staying away from my fucking autograph until <laughs> you started fucking advertising you know i i i'm glad I got this pick. Yeah. I'm really glad it came back to me. I am going to to uh, uh, pick... A, a portrait of myself as a centaur. Oh, I should have picked nice. that. Yes. Nice. So I'm going to take that. That's nice. nice. I would be fucking pissed about that. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's pissed. the best pick. He's pissed just thinking about it. Well, I'm going to go back to the, the picture of Tim Maggard that she fucking made. Yeah. Because you know she would sell she it. She would. Yeah. Oh, I know. We got a huge <laughs> fight over that. <laughs> and JP, what is your final pick? Uh, my poker table and poker chips. Okay, that's a that's a good one, man. We all got some really cool stuff. We do. Oh, man. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm like super <laughs> private about all that. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps it in a vault and it's armed 24 seven. I'm telling you, he's so scared. You you make you, you like sneeze on the front door when you're not welcome. He'll shoot you. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is our draft of things you would get supremely pissed off if your spouse sold in a garage sale. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for your favorite list of Derek stuff. <laughs> I don't have golf clubs. <laughs> yeah. Golf clubs. I'm not a Scotty's dickhead. A douche. <laughs> but, uh, I should have picked all Scotty's shit. <laughs> you would have had bowling ball, you could have said. Yeah. Well, but I was going with your shit. Yeah. So. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. We should have done Scotty's. You can all go. Life size puppet of peanut. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my snowboards. Oh yeah. no! My bindings. Oh, my bindings. No. Yeah, I can show you how those work. You want to see how they work? No, I'd rather <laughs> fucking hang myself. I didn't think so. Shut up. Uh, but you can all go, also go to Twitter slash X, which is at LOT Sidelines, and vote there too. Uh, we take those into consideration. But now, I'm glad I got an alarm system. We can move on <laughs> to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines. <laughs> Shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sideline shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Derek. The Rec Alders back from Japan, and he made it. He made it. 13 hours. Yeah, Boy, get, you know what? Did you have to bow? What a great... What, yeah, I did have to bow. Okay. What a great way to die <laughs> like well, I, th- I figured out how i want to die okay yeah. and it's in a plane crash on my way back from vacation because <laughs> then i don't have to go back to work yeah and you know what i mean like you're still right on the end of that high from vacation mm-hmm. and then if the plane crashes you're like well at least i ain't gotta go to work on monday there you go <laughs> yeah, that's true I, that's true. a perfect time to i die. think so too uh, but we are going to miss you. Uh, baseball season is back up and running, mm-hmm. so uh, you can go to uh, uh, you know come to Wichita, Kansas, and go to a wind surge game. Yeah, and listen to Derek uh, use his voice, use his throat, right? Yeah, yeah don't you're, you'll never be able to use my throat. <laughs> I don't know. You got good pipes on there, bud. 
Do I now? Yeah. <laughs> right. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, you can go in uh, here. All right, he, tiny. He is. Yeah. He's the announcer at uh, uh, in which in Wichita for the Wichita Wind Surge. So if you'd like to go uh, to a game, you can go and do that. Hit him up for free tickets. One hundred percent. He loves it when you do that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, Especially if I've never spoken to you before. <laughs> and then and then after the game, you can stick around and try and meet him. Yeah, it's true. And see if you can get a tour. That was of my his. fucking favorite man. Whenever that first year I did it and fucking people i hadn't talked to in like five years like hey do you think you could say happy birthday to my kid on the video board and i'm like 20 bucks (laughs) who's this dude you were my boss at chili's i don't know (laughs) i worked there a week yeah um but yeah uh this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is uh you have a british narrator is that right sure who what's the guy's name uh, Nigel. Nigel. <laughs> Nigel uh, co- or, uh, narrating. Cumberbatch. <laughs> yeah. Narrating uh, either of these two situations. Which one would you rather have? You'd have him narrate you having sex or jerking off. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Well, well, on one hand, I'm having sex. Yeah. On the other hand, I'm in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but at least... If I'm having sex, I don't have somebody narrating how bad I am at it. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go with jerking off. What if they narrate how bad you are at doing that? <laughs> well, then I I, I'm the only one that's going to hear yeah, it. That's yeah, true. That's you true. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah girls okay. tell their friends everything. Yeah, that's yeah. true. She's like, ah, oh, this guy was so bad at fucking. And he had a guy from Britain <laughs> just <laughs> describing how, how terrible of a job he was. Yeah. I'm going to go with jacking off. All right. I would rather them narrate that. I'm totally going with jacking off. And it's not even close because I think that's a fun game to play with myself. I'm like trying to psych out the narrator. Just like, ah, 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 ah. No. Nope, oh, nope. like it's one of those fucking deaf sign language. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> so fuck yeah, I'm doing jerking off. Boy, I'm, can you imagine one of them giving a hand job? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd play bone thugs and let her go to town. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Yeah. And I miss my Uncle Charles. Yeah. <laughs> How about he you? shouldn't be gone in front of his home. What they did, the boo was wrong. Oh, wrong. So wrong. Gotta move on. Gotta stay strong. Uh, That's a good song. Yeah. Uh, how about you, JP? What are you doing? I'm going sex, man. Oh, my God. Because I want to see if the narrator can remember all the names of the people that are in the room. <laughs> He's surprised See, by. I'm not oh. trying to make it difficult. Oh yeah, no, yeah. I don't want to oh, be no. difficult either. Just be like, look as the sad man takes his tiny <laughs> penis in his mouth. Yeah, right. <laughs> Last time he made it no, five man. strokes. Let's see if he can beat his record. I'm going with sex. I'm going with sex because it's been so long that I'll probably never have to hear the son of a bitch. That's true. You yeah. If I went jerking off, man, I'd have to hear that British dude like three times a day. <laughs> Do you think if he narrated you jerking off that it, he would almost talk you out of it whenever you were getting ready to? Yes. To where yes. he would be like, oh, the sad man's coming yeah, home to right, jerk off again. Right, it's like, right. nope, uh-huh. not doing it. This time we're in a weird location. <laughs> yeah, right. to the bathroom. Yeah, right. Yeah. He slowly takes his hand and massages yeah. his cock in the Red Lobster bathroom. <laughs> his palm reeks of cheese and cheddar biscuits. <laughs> he leaves the stall door open just in case somebody walks in. <laughs> he's at a red it light. Gets on him <laughs> off. He's on a red light on Maze Road. Yeah, right. <laughs> Fuck that. He uh, grabs down and drives his stick shift. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And he's going to use that it was raining as an excuse. Yeah, for right. Him. Probably <laughs> late. Yeah, right. Oh, he wasn't shit. late. He was jerking off <laughs> while he was <laughs> taking his shit, apparently. That's, that's, called a, that's called a slumpkin. That's a slumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That is a slumpkin. Oh, I've been in a real slumpkin lately <laughs> myself. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a very, very fun-filled episode. Uh, thank you very much for listening. We sincerely do appreciate it. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, believe it or not, somehow this show continues to grow. Yeah, of course it does, man. Crazy. We're awesome. Yeah, we I think we cool. get like a new TikTok follower a week. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, no, yeah. no d- definitely more than that. But anyways, thank you guys for doing Three everything. Three TikTok followers. <laughs> yeah. Triple that amount, sir. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Try three, <Yeah>. asshole. <laughs> and now watch Scotty as he jerks off to the three <laughs> new TikTok <laughs> followers new TikTok he just follower. made. Oh, fuck. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you uh, so very much for what you guys do as we... Oh, and actually, uh, thank you very much to uh, Mr. JP as well. Not yeah, just man. Derek Alders. 
thank you, JP. Yeah, man. No, thank you. Something tells me we're going to see you next week, I'm guessing. I'll be here. There you go. Uh, but guys, keep and on. That's a threat. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. Uh-huh. Keep on doing what you do. Thank you guys so very much. And as we always like to say, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us. We hope you never get to experience the magic of a Japanese toilet. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us. Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Please don't squeeze the Charmin. <laughs> <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing. We will see you all later. Take care.